Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. I wanted to uh, let you all know that um, I'm not the high-tech man, but I hope that the high-tech equipment is working. We want to first of all say thank you all for being here this morning. I didn't know I had to introduce anybody, but um, I do what my bosses tell me to do, and my bosses are behind me on behalf of the Columbia Housing Authority and on behalf of the Save-A-Lot family. We're very pleased to have you with us this morning. Very pleased to have you with us, and certainly we want to thank all of you for being here. And I'll wait for the... I think that now you'll be able to hear me, and it's just a pleasure to be with you this morning. And at this time, we're so happy about this beautiful facility being open here today, and want to thank all of you for being here to show your support for the city of Columbia, Richland County, and for the Columbia Housing Authority and this beautiful community as the Save-A-Lot will be open in this community. The grand opening is today. We're very pleased to have some very special guests with us. Our Congressman Jim Clyburn is with us. Our Mayor Steve Benjamin is with us. And if there are any other elected officials, we'll ask that you also please come down front. At this time, I want to introduce Mr. Jim Allen, who's going to introduce Mr. Marcus Scarborough. Mr. Marcus Scarborough, a graduate from right here in Richland School District 2, but a man who went on to become a very, very great leader in our military, went to the Naval Academy, and he is going to be the CEO and the director of the Save-A-Lot Center here in this area. So at this time, please welcome Mr. Jim Allen, who will be introducing Mr. Marcus Scarborough. Mr. Allen. Thank, thank you very much. I hope you can hear uh, I am Jim Allen. Uh, I represent Honor Capital. Honor Capital is a business owned primarily by post 9-11 U.S. military veterans. Um, and Marcus Scarborough is one of those veterans and he is our partner that will be the representative in South Carolina. As you know, the bonds of military service are very special. And I want to point out one individual and I'm going to embarrass him hopefully. But where's Mr. Sonny Newton, Y.D. Newton? Is he, there he is over there. Okay, this is a great story. He's from South Carolina, I'm from Missouri. We were both Navy ROTC midshipmen in 1969 on the USS Alt. We have not seen each other in the last 46 years until this morning, and he agreed to come to this opening of this veteran-owned business. He now lives in Atlanta, Georgia, so he made a special trip to be here but it kind of shows you how great the bonds of military service can be. And again, Honor Capital is a veteran-owned business. Um, we were fortunate last summer because of our efforts with better, veterans and small businesses to be invited to the White House. While we were there, we got to meet Robert Herchevec of Shark Tank and now with Dancing with the Stars. Robert yesterday sent us a congratulatory email and in that email he had a quotation and he said, Every time you see a business, someone made a courageous decision. In this case, many, many people made courageous decisions. And if you'll give me a second, I want to talk about them. Because there are four groups involved that made courageous decisions. If you get back to Sonny from South Carolina and me from Missouri, two of the groups are South Carolina-based. The other two groups are Missouri-based. So the first South Carolina group is, of course, the Columbia Housing Authority. Without the work and sweat and tears and the vision of their board and staff over the years, this would not be here. Without this physical real estate, we wouldn't be here. So I certainly want to thank Mr. Walker, Mr. Howard Thomas, and Nancy Stoudenmire for connecting us with this opportunity. We'll wait just a second. The South Carolina Community Loan Fund was started 10 years ago, obviously by some folks who wanted to do something great for their state. And they've worked very, very hard over the last 10 years to get to where they are with a lot of courageous decisions, one of which was deciding to loan money to us for this grocery store. Uh, without them, we would not be standing here today. And Michelle Mapp, their executive director is here. Patrick King, also a veteran. And Anna Hamilton Lewin uh, is also here representing them. And of course, without Save-A-Lot, we wouldn't have a supplier. We own this business, Marcus and our team owns this business, but Save-A-Lot is our supplier 
They're our advisor. They have the expertise. About uh, almost 40 years ago now, I guess, a man named Bill Moran from the St. Louis, Missouri area created Save-A-Lot with the idea to do hard discount stores and bring price savings for fresh, affordable food. Um, without Save-A-Lot and their expertise and their team, we would not be here. This store would not be opening today. So I want to recognize Brandon Thompson, who's over there someplace, who's the head of licensing. Tom Altadonna, who in a meeting after Marcus said, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, said, should we tell him about Columbia? Two days later, we were here, and the rest is history. Tom's here someplace. Uh, Roy Allen, that first introduced us to the transactions over there. Um, Myron Ball, who helped us get, get, the, get it started and open, and also Mike Powell. The last group is Honor Capital. We represent about 100 years of total experience in our group of nine. Uh, 60 of those years were done by young people like Marcus Scarborough, and you have to remember they made a very courageous decision. When we were attacked on 9-11, they were all about 18 years old. The next year, they raised their right hand, swore to defend and protect the Constitution of the United States, and then for approximately the next, what, 12 years, they either studied, trained, or fought in the global war on terror. Uh, they lost a lot of friends, and they had some injuries themselves. Um, they're not all here today, but Jamie Allen, my son, who's our CFO, a former Navy officer is here, uh, Ben Gold, who served with him on a mine countermeasures crew and was SEAL Delivery Vehicle Team 1, is here, and also Jared O'Malley's here someplace, uh, yeah, also a Naval Academy graduate. Jared is about ready to go and open a Tulsa, Oklahoma Save-A-Lot for Honor Capital. Um, and, I, and yesterday I failed to mention Tony Borchers, who's our director of real estate. Uh, Tony and I have worked together for 17 years, and we're excited that he's on our team now. But I'm here really to introduce Marcus. And as was said earlier, Marcus is a high school graduate from here. He was captain of the United States Naval Academy's track team. He was a Patriot League champion himself. And then the most amazing thing is he's a nuclear trained engineer. Uh, and he went down on nuclear submarines under the water with enough explosives to blow up the world on it. Um, and if you don't follow the rules there, you leave a valve open, you may kill everybody on board. Uh, so he made some obviously courageous decisions. One was he had a good job before we talked to him. <laughs> uh, and we said, Marcus, why don't you come with us? We're gonna be small business people. We're gonna open grocery stores in areas that need us. Why don't you join us? He quit his job and joined us. With his training, his experience, he could have gone anywhere. He could have done anything and made a lot more money. He chose to come home and help get this grocery store opened. Um, I'm delighted to be his partner. This store in military terminology is his command. It's his command. He has built a team along with the help of others and that this store will not be successful without that team engaging with the community and making this the community store. He will not do it alone. They're gonna work hard to make it full, fresh, clean and friendly. It is my distinct pleasure to now introduce you to Marcus Scarborough. Marcus, this is com your command. Lead your team and serve your community well. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Uh, honestly, I can't believe today is actually here. Um, it's, been a, it's been a journey. Um, and I, I want to reiterate all the thanks that uh, Jim that Jim let out today. Um, it wouldn't have been possible without all those different partners that we've had that have helped make this day possible and, and to, for us to open here successfully. Um, I want to focus on the, the, the last point that he made though and I want to thank the community. Um, we came here boots on the ground to use military terminology in about February. Um, well actually we did a site visit in October. We signed the lease with the CHA in December and then we started to really work on this building and this project in February once everything was lined up. And every day since then, we've had the community stop by. They're either looking through the windows or just coming in and, and you know, just talking and, and asking, when's it gonna be open? When's it gonna be open? Well, we're open today. And I, and I can't be more proud. I can't be more happy to, to bring fresh food, fresh groceries to this community. Cause you know, now that I've come back to Columbia and I've been embedded in this, in this, this space, this building for the last few months here, I've just gotten to know Hardin Street very well and I see I see the need the community has I, as you go down to five points you see folks walking 
from the food line or trying to catch a ride to the, the piggly wiggly, whatever it might be. And I, it, that's just, that's not the way it should be. You should have fresh food. You should have affordable food right here in your community. And that's, to me, when, you know, Jim mentioned, I was, uh, when I was in the military and I got out and I was, I moved away from home 13 years ago, when they, when they talked about this opportunity, I jumped at it because I knew I could come back and we could make an impact in this community, in, in Saxon home area, which has a, a storied history and be a part of this momentous change that is occurring right here in front of us with the help of all the folks that, uh, that, that Jim mentioned and that are, that are here out today and are before us. So I just want to thank y'all. I won't take too much time. I just invite everyone to come in the grocery store, shop, let me know what you need, let my staff know. And I actually, I wanna thank my staff also. They have been tremendous, tremendous. I see Kevin right there, I see Dan right there. These guys have been leading the charge, all of them though. I won't, I, I can't, I won't name all 25 of them, but a lot of folks here who grew up in this community, uh, who know it well, so they'll be happy to serve their neighbors with a smile. And, and take care of all your needs. And I want to thank you guys. If y'all could, give them a round of applause. It wouldn't have been possible without them. But I want to bring Mr. Bobby Gist back up here, and then he'll uh, introduce some of our dignitaries. I also want to uh, thank uh, uh, George Rogers for coming out. So, there you go. There. <laughs> and, uh, I'll give a little Naval Academy plug. You know, I used to work with Staubach in one of my previous jobs. You know, so your Heisman colleagues there. You know, I, I seem to be touching y'all a lot here. But thank you, thank you. But Mr. Yes, thank y'all, right. thank y'all. The great George Rogers is with us today, but there's so many other great people that's with us today. Heisman Trophy winner, and one day we're going to win a Heisman Trophy again here at USC. And uh, George Rogers is going to help us do that. But George, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's really an honor and a pleasure to have so many people uh, with us today. And we'll certainly see a lot of our city council people uh, that wanted to be here, could not be here. But our mayor is here, Mayor Steve Benjamin is with us. Congressman Clyburn is with us. The congressman also brought his boss with him uh, this morning, uh, Mrs. Uh, Clyburn. And uh, let's give it up for her. She was an outstanding leader in this community. And Miss Emily for many, many years worked for our Veterans Hospital and she was in charge of the Veterans Facility and was also one of the chief librarians for the Veterans Association here in South Carolina. We're very proud of our veterans, so many great veterans in this city and we are so grateful to have Congressman Jim Clyburn. And I say he's the greatest congressman in America. He does so many great things for not just people in this state, but people all around America. We're also very pleased to have with us uh, today, uh, one of our members from County Council, the Honorable uh, Jim Manning is with us. He's right here on the corner, raise your hands. And of course, we have the General with us today. And uh, we certainly want to thank the General for being here with us today. That's General Larry Knightner, who is with the South Carolina uh, Division of HUD. And also Mr. Eric uh, Bixley, he's with us today. Uh, these are our leadership team with the South Carolina uh, Director of Housing and Urban Development here in South Carolina. They do a great job and they are great people. We're also very pleased to have members of our board here with us today, Ms. Selena Pickens, uh, Ms. Betsy Watson, Mr. George Green, Ms. Alexis Burgess, and we have so many of our CHAD members here today with us also, and uh, Ms. Janice Marshall and uh, others. If I didn't get your name, I'm gonna make certain I get it before we get away. But at this time, we're going to bring up our mayor, Mayor Steve Benjamin, and Mayor Steve Benjamin has done great work in this city to help us, and we certainly are appreciative of that. I see some of our members from the city, our assistant city manager here is here, and uh, we want to thank all of you for being here. But at this time, please welcome uh, Mayor Steve Benjamin, who will introduce our congressman. This is a great. This is a great day to be here. Uh, we're all um, so very proud. Uh, Marcus, uh, on our capital, the folks who save a lot, and and very proud of the leadership of this Columbia Housing Authority. Uh, th this housing authority and the Development Corporation have have, have truly revitalized uh, this entire area of town and doing great works all across this region. We're, and and Gil and Bobby, we're, we're so thankful to you and this entire uh, board uh, for your 
leadership. Um, this is a great day because we're not only celebrating new business um, or economic development in this community, but we're talking about a new partnership that, um, uh, that provides new opportunities to our nation's veterans. And we know that Columbia is, is, is a proud home. Uh, this region is a proud home to uh, Fort Jackson. Victory starts here. Uh, uh, McIntyre Air National Guard and, and Shaw Air Force Base. We are a home to so many great veterans that make this community uh, great. So we're thankful to everyone for the work that you've done uh, to make today happen. We're, we're thankful for all that you're doing and we look forward to all the work that we'll do in the future uh, together. Uh, I will, um, I'm not sure why I have the job of, of introducing uh, the Congressman who needs no introduction. Um, uh, many of you have, a, uh, have the pleasure of knowing the Congressman uh, personally here uh, because of his, his, his work over the last several decades uh, in making South Carolina a very special place to be. Um, but if you would travel, and some of you do, and I, and I travel extensively on behalf of our, our city, uh, I think you'd develop an even greater appreciation uh, for the esteem uh, that this man has held in across this country and, uh, and worldwide. He is one of those very few voices in the Congress of the United States and the federal government um, all together that when he speaks, everyone listens. Everyone listens. And day after day, for over 20 years, uh, Jim Carbon's been delivering for the people of the 6th Congressional District and the people of South Carolina. And we're so proud uh, to call him our Congressman. Congressman Carbon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you so much for your visionary leadership of this great city, our capital city. Uh, I really appreciate you, and I thank you so much for your friendship. I want to thank the Housing Authority uh, for their great leadership, bringing this facility here to us. Uh, we tried a, a grocery store here before. Uh, and they could have given up, but they didn't. And so I want to thank them for continuing to plug along and for bringing this facility here to this community. I want to thank Save a Lot uh, for the great reputation they have across the country. I travel quite a bit, and I see Save a Lot a lot of places. And I often wonder uh, what it all meant. Uh, now, today, I thought it might be materials or something. Today, uh, I'm learning that it means fresh fruit and vegetables. And it means affordable fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, it's one thing to have fresh fruits and vegetables when you can't afford it. It's another thing to be able to afford it and then not have it. To bring these two things together in this community, I think is very, very important. And it makes a statement. And I don't have to get into it. All of you know uh, that uh, there's always been this undercurrent as to where you could find fresh fruits and vegetables and where you were apt not to find it. We're going to be able to find it here. And I'm telling you now, one reason Emily's with me, she's got two reasons. Uh, one is because she shops a lot. <laughs> and uh, having the health challenges that she's had, uh, she's always looking for fresh fruit and vegetables. And being married to me, uh, and I put on uh, about 50 or 60 pounds since we've been married. She's looking for diet, caffeine-free diet sodas, and those kinds of things that I have to have uh, for my evening libation. I won't get into what else that may go into it. But this store is going to be important. In fact, she told me on the way here this morning uh, that she's looking forward to shopping here. And I'm looking forward to doing what I can to make this a success. Now, Marcus, I just got to say something about you. Um, you know, every now and then you meet some, somebody and right off you know, well, I, I don't care if I ever see this person again. <laughs> and then there are times when you meet somebody and you can't wait till you see them again. 
And that's the way it was when I first met Marcus Scarborough, even before I knew uh, that he was uh, locally owned and grown. He had a great spirit. And when Janice Marshall told me uh, that he was going to be in charge of putting this facility, Save a Lot was going to put it here, that a bunch of uh, men who were veterans had banded together and had bonded. And there's a big difference in banding and bonding. Now, it's one thing to be thrown together. It's something else to sit down and make choices about doing business together. And I want to congratulate them. That's the second reason that Emily is here today. When she found out that this facility was veterans owned, uh, it has a real meaning to her. Not just because she spent uh, those years at the Naval Hospital in Charleston and the Veterans Hospital here, but because her favorite uncle, who really is responsible for her in large measure getting her librarianship uh, was on the USS Arizona on that fateful day, December 7th, uh, when the Arizona was bombed at Pearl Harbor. Uh, she has a great affinity uh, for veterans. And so we're here today to say to this group that whatever we can do, they'll assist you with this effort. We're going to do it. And whatever you all can do, uh, you, here, to assist them, let's do it. Let's make this a real community effort. Let's not just shop here, but let's help develop this area and help the mayor of Columbia live out his vision. Uh, there are a lot of people uh, who do not think that this part of Harden Street uh, was worth developing. But the Housing Authority said it. We put the Drew Wilder Center here. The mayor is going to put the ballpark and other developments right across the street. Uh, we got the South Harden Street extension, uh, the street skating, uh, when they wanted to go from Jervey to Five Points, and that was it. We said, no, we're going to Colonial Drive. We've done that. We are developing this area. We want to help you. Please help us keep it and show the doubters uh, that this area is worth investing in. I'm very proud of it. I'm proud of you. Let's make it happen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, you know, the greatest congressman in America, he does such a great job in this, uh, uh, in this state and in this country. And it was with his help and his assistance that we were able to bring our president into the heart of this community less than two months ago. President Barack Obama came into this community, said he would be here for about 30 minutes, and he stayed for about two and a half hours, and he says he's coming back. And we really appreciate all that he has done. We also uh, noted our chief of police was here, Chief Holbrook. I don't know whether he had to run out, but Chief Holbrook, we salute you for all the great things that you're doing in promoting safety and security uh, in this community. The Columbia Housing Authority was recently received a letter from the, federal, from the federal government, and it talked about the success of the Columbia Housing Authority being one of the top three housing authorities in America. Give it up for the Columbia Housing Authority, one of the top three housing authorities in America. We would not be one of the top three housing authorities in America without the leadership team that's been put together by our executive director, Mr. Gilbert Walker. And I'm going to ask Mr. Walker and Ms. Nancy Stoudemire to come down, and we will then be ready to move forward and to have the uh, opening of the Save-A-Lot uh, well, along with Brother Marcus Scarborough. Mr. Walker will make a few comments, but Mr. Walker is the executive director. This man does a great job, and under his leadership, we've been able to see how this community has began to be flourished and will continue to flourish. Mr. Walker. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> first, let me thank all of you for coming out this morning. 
Let me thank you for all of your efforts in trying to make this a community-wide effort. I want to thank the congressman for coming in. I want to thank the mayor for all the support that we've had from the city and all of the efforts that we know that we can make this community a better place to stay. Hats off to Nancy Stoudemire. Uh, several months ago, I told her that, uh, that we had a project that I wanted her to take charge of, and I wanted to see it to completion. And she said that she would take it. So she came out and she's been working with it night and day and making sure that this project is a project that everybody will be proud of. And as the Congressman and also the Mayor said, that we plan to have fresh fruits and vegetables. We want to make sure that people who, for whatever reason, do not have all the means that some of us have, that they have a place to go and they can get the same benefits that everybody else can get. And uh, that's our effort, and we plan to stick with it, and we'll do everything at the Columbia Housing Authority uh, to make that happen. Thank all our partners at HUD, General Knightner, Mr. Bickley, and the entire team for supporting us and making sure that our efforts, along with other efforts that we are trying to do, that it is a success. We also plan to make sure that the Bulls Creek development that will be coming up, that we'll be a part of it that we'll be able to do some of the things in order to make that dream a dream for the city and a dream for what the mayor can envision. We will support it. We're not going to be out trying to tear things down. 